Yes, sir. You already know it's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we do that, let's give this video a thumbs up. So Sheba, why am I buying more Sheba token, guys? Let's go ahead and talk about it. So for one, guys, we know in our previous video we was talking about the Sheba millionaires, the bracket, how you know a certain quantity of coins or tokens is going to get you in that millionaire clubs. The first one being, you know, who got 10 billion, then 1 billion, then the 500 million, the 100 million. So basically, I'm all I'm doing is climbing that ladder, climbing that ladder. And that's not necessarily, you know, putting all my faith in, oh, if I get this certain quantity, I'm going to be a millionaire. No, I don't think like that. Like I told you, it is what it is at the end of the day. I either make a lot of money from it or I don't. It'd be a bust. And I'm fine with that, guys, because... From the beginning of this thing and all certain type of investments, I got some investments. I got 100% conviction. I know for a fact I got a whole lot of my eggs in it. And then some other opportunities, I like to take risk on a lot of opportunities, almost every opportunity I see because I'm an entrepreneur and I'm, you know, I'm an opportunist. So with that being said, the, the opportunities I least believe in, if I don't have much conviction, I still go for them. I still believe in them. I still put money in them, but I just don't put as much money, meaning I put money that, you know, some money I really, you know, like really wouldn't care about. I'm going to throw it away anyway on some clothes, on something like it's nothing because at the end of the day, money is nothing. It's just money. The real true value come in assets, assets, guys, owning something that makes and produce money, real estate, a car rental business, anything like that, money, cash. That ain't nothing. So throwing money in the, that's why I always tell people, throwing something in the Dogecoin, Shiba, anything you hear about, throw something in it. Even if it's a dollar, ten dollars, at least you got it, you own it. And if it do do something, you dare to capitalize out that opportunity that you set yourself up for. So regardless, guys, you know, so I always, you know, build opportunities and take whenever you hear about something from your friends or family, somebody trying to put you on to some money. You know, hear them people out. See what they got to say. Even if you don't really believe in it, be like, hey, they ain't going great. He was talking about something like Bitcoin. He was back in 2010. He was talking about Bitcoin. Like, man, I think that nigga tripping. Or not even mean to say the N-word, but I think, you know, that guy tripping. And then he, uh, you know, they go and say, but dang, maybe he do know what he's saying, talking about it or whatnot. Even if you don't believe in it, what I'm getting to is, like, if Greg would have told you about Bitcoin in 2010, even if you didn't believe in it, just be like, hey, I'm an opportunist. I'm going to put at least a dollar, ten dollars in it. So if it do something, if Greg really think this thing going to 100K or whatever in the future, I, I'm going to have, I'm going to be a millionaire off a dollar. And like, that's how you just got to think with life. So that's just a long story short, making Greg don't know who that is. I just, you know, try to let you guys know how to just build opportunities and look at yourself as a scientist. So anyways, with Shiba though, guys, let me go ahead and run through these numbers because they didn't want this video to be that long. So we trading at 30 right now and we just broke through that $30 key resistance, not $30, that 0.00030 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, resistance level. And once we broke through that, guys, we know we could run straight back to the all-time highs of Shiba. But before in our previous videos, like we were stating, we're not going to run straight to the all-time highs this year. We're going to pull back down to that them 20, that, that 0 0.002526, around that level before taking back off, guys. It's going to have to shake the tree. Might even pull back to that support at 21 before going back to the all-time highs, guys, because there's so much hype, so many people trying to rush into this. And, you know, you already know how the market is. It's going to take you on a roller coaster before you get to where you're actually going. So, guys, you already know Sheba, like I told you, you most definitely want to load up. When it's in the red, when it's pulling back, that's the best opportunity to load up. And then, you know, if you want to sell and get out early, you want to sell during strength when it's running up. But I wouldn't even be thinking about selling not this, not the day, tomorrow, next month, next year, five years, ten years. I'd be holding. You feel me? That's where the true wealth is wealth building coming at holding and if you want to trade and be in and out of something yeah you can do that but i advise getting a second account do that in another account hold in one account trade in another so you already know that's all i got for this video guys just want to get that out there for you consider joining the family we post every day you know i love y'all we out and god bless you